deeper into the Baker Act and its use as an option in a situation like this. The law lets families put a family member temporarily in a detention center to be examined and treated for mental illness. Suji Nam talked with local law enforcement about what they're doing to prevent more Baker Act cases and joins us live. Suji. Todd, I talked to the Martin County Sheriff's Office and the chief deputy tells me that there are resources in place to help prevent former patients from being Baker Acted again. The Baker Act in the Sunshine State sets up the criteria for when a person experiencing a mental crisis can or should be admitted into the hospital. And local law enforcement agencies play a major role in helping to transport someone to immediate care. Almost all the Baker Acts that we do come from emergency calls for service. This person is acting out right now. They're threatening suicide right now. They're threatening, threatening to harm somebody else right now. According to the Florida Department of Children and Families, there were more than 170,000 involuntary Baker Act exams from 2021 to 2022. Data also shows that 53% of law enforcement officers initiated the involuntary Baker Act exams. Is this a retaliatory thing? Or are they trying to get their loved one Baker Act and just to get them out of the house temporarily? So that's something our officers will vet out. Other ways through which someone can get Baker Acted is through a doctor's orders or court orders. The Martin County Sheriff's Office has also implemented a system where they make sure former patients are getting the help that they need. What we've currently started doing with our behavioral health unit is following up post their 72 hours after the Baker Act is we have our behavioral health unit that will follow up and keep these people going to their doctor's visits, keep them on their psychotropic medications, and try to keep the recidivism rate down. And for more information on these mental health resources, we have that for you on our website at dailypbf.com. Reporting live in Palm Beach County, I'm Suji Nam for Daily PBF 25 News.